everyone and welcome back to my intro to Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. I'll show you how to get started creating your first Unreal Engine 4 project. Um, in the previous two we had gotten the Epic Launcher installed. So if you haven't done that yet, go watch the second video. Um, from there, Unreal Engine. Be patient because sometimes and the more stuff you add to the project, the longer it'll take. Um, on that note, if you have a solid state drive, it does speed it up quite a bit. Um, but anyway, so we're going to create our first project here. It'll show some that you've recently been working on here, um, but we're going to do a new one. So you can see there's, there's different types of categories. For us, we're just using games, but you're more than welcome to check these out. So you choose games, go to next. And then here you can choose a template to start from, either blank or you can choose one of these templates that kind of has a little bit of code pre-written for you to kind of get started with. Uh, a lot of the time I just tell students to start with first person or third person to start. Um, it doesn't really matter, you can add these later and I'll show you how to do that. But I'll just start with third pers first person for this one. Um, and the project settings, you can either do blueprints, which we'll go into later in the series, but blueprints is essentially um, a visual node-based coding system, which um, tends to be a little bit easier to wrap your head around than just jumping into straight C++. Um, you can add C++ to a blueprint project, so don't be worried that you'll be stuck with one or the other. Um, for our cases, we're going to stick with blueprints. Um, the next choice you'd have to make is desktop or mobile. So if you're making a desktop console game, stick with max quality. Uh, if you're doing a mobile or tablet game, change that to scalable 3D or 2D. That way it'll, it'll um, be higher or lower quality based on what device the person has. And as far as starter content goes, you can either use it or not. It provides things like some basic static meshes, which are the 3D models some materials, sounds, um, particles, stuff like that. So if you don't know really anything about Unreal, I'd, I'd go with it just so you can see um, a few little starter content things. Again, you can add that later as well. But for me, I'll start with desktop, max quality. Ray tracing is only going to work if you have a RTX, a GeForce RTX graphics card. And they're pretty brand new at, at this time, so most of you probably don't. Also, ray tracing is pretty heavy on the processor and it kind of lags the games. Um, so that's kind of a, an up and coming technology we'll be using pretty soon in the future. But for now, I'll leave it off. Um, give your project a name. My project actually drives me crazy because then nobody knows what project they were working on last. Um, Um, let's see. Yeah. So just give it any kind of name you want, just so you know which project it is and save it somewhere you can remember. I have a lot of different drives with a D C drive documents, unreal projects, and that's where all your projects generally go unless you specify otherwise. So you can press create project once you've chosen your settings and then we get to wait again. And it shouldn't be too long because it's a, it's a brand new empty project here. All right, there we go. So this video was how to create a project. So here's a project. I'll go over a couple more things. Um, so like I was saying earlier, if you wanted to add more game modes into this, we can go, well, let's see, first of all, let's just see how this is. If you press play, I'll go over all these windows in the next video, but if you press play for now, we can see it starts me out with a, a gun, with a, it has a little bit of physics going, and I can walk around and jump. That's about it though. You can see the person actually doesn't have a body, um, but so that's, that's all that is in this template. Um, it's a good start for a lot of people. So. If you wanted to add another template to start with, um, we can switch between. So, for example, if you wanted to switch between a game mode of first person and then switch to getting in a car or something, you can do that. Um, let's add, go to add new here and go to add feature or content pack. 
um, blueprint feature template. You can also add C++ stuff or your mobile or regular starter content if you forgot. So I'll just add in, I don't know, a vehicle. Okay. Um, if you hit this little arrow key over here, or this little arrow drop down, it'll open up your folder so you can really see what's in there. Um, in this case, it, we have a first person BP and a vehicle BP. BP is for blueprints. Map up, we can open up this one. I got a vehicle to drive. Um, it's got, you know, some physics going. It's got a heads up display with a few things on it. Um, but anyways, that's how to make basic simple projects more thing and add we talked about the marketplace um, in the last video I'm gonna show you how if you if you've gotten some stuff from the marketplace and you want to add it to first you get it from the marketplace press buy and then it'll show up into this vault section under Unreal Engine library section so add the project and all right, so here's the one I was looking for. Uh, just press add to project. And it'll take a second. That was actually pretty quick. If it's taking a while, you can click downloads and it'll show you how long it's taking. But we'll see that it already showed up in here. And I can even just go, you know, put some of these guys in there. Whoops, this guy. All right, so that's about all I was gonna cover for this video. Um, in the next video, We'll go over the user interface, how to move around the world, what all these buttons mean, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, thanks guys, and I'll see you later.